Today I'm going to switch the shade, this white shade, out for this. All right, let's get started. Let's get started, let's get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and cut the tags off of this. I have the receipt, so if things go, things go awry, I can always take it back using the receipt. Man, this one's really on there. Yes, I'm using kids scissors too. There's one, two. There's some kind of little plastic doodad here on the top. Oh, got it. Take this thing off of the thing. That's super technical language. Cut the thing off the thing. Hey, oh, it comes with light bulbs too. Okay, so I've got the tags off of this. And now what I need to do is I need to take this white shade off and to try to put the black black one on. Okay, let's see how we take how we take this off. Do it would start with this. Haha! -ha. Okay, that was easy. I mentioned in another video that I originally wanted super um, like emerald green lamps but I couldn't find any and done is better than perfect. And if I find other ones that I like better, then I can always sell these on Craigslist for a good price, make back some of my money and then buy the ones that I want. But I wanna be able to use this room more than I want the exact shade of lamp that I was looking for. So I had to make a little bit of a compromise, but I'm super excited about these. Look at the gold inside of this. I can't get over how great the gold looks with this black wall. Like, I'm in love. Okay, never done this before. See, the other weird thing is, I think I can make it fit. I can't see it. That's other slightly weird thing is that the, um, the hardware on this right here is silver, and then the um, underside of the lamp is gold, which is a little bit awkward, but again, done is better than perfect, and so if I wanna go back and I wanna completely disassemble this and spray paint that silver part gold, I can do that. I'm gonna put this little doobly bot back on the shade, and then let's, let's see if I can make it balance. Oh, falling. Oh, it's moving everywhere. I can fit it. Oh. <laughs> okay, so as you can see, we have a little bit of a problem here. First of all, this will not stay balanced because the little rolly ball thing won't screw onto it, right? And when it's like this, you can still see the light bulb, which is awkward and all this, all this silver here. So what, what? I'm gonna try to take this off and move all of this down and do so without voiding any of the returnability of this item. Now I need a little teeny tiny screwdriver. Sarah, why can't you just stick with the white shade as it is? It pops off the wall beautifully. Here's why. There's going to be art that's gonna be right here. Well, right where my head is. And I want the art to take center stage in this scenario. I don't want anything competing with it. So if I have a shade here, like this. You can see a little bit of the green, but whatever I put on the wall here, the art, which will be in a white frame or a wooden frame, will take center stage. And it won't have to compete with this white shade. Anyone that tries to tell you that a room can be made over in like a day or two or three with young kids around is lying. It takes time. Blah. Honestly, I have no idea what's gonna happen. I've never done this before, so let's back this up a little so you can see along with me, um, exactly what's, what's, what's happening here. Uh, maybe I should take the light bulb out because I really don't want to break the light bulb. Light bulb is out. Hmm. Seems like it should, oh, we have movement. What will we find inside? Please don't be a long strand that's connected to the, oh boy. So it's a, this is the cord, which I was afraid of. Runs up through this thing and actually into the lighting component here. To get that off, or to make this small, what would we have to do? Oh, yes it will. I have to take this out. I gotta take the, I think this will come out. Thank God I'm getting this on video, so at least I can know how to put it back together. It's coming off. It's coming off, please. Oh, it's attached, it goes right up. Get a, I'm gonna get a wrench, hold on. Oh, it's 
too big. Maybe I can get this guy. Cereal for lunch. It's one of the perks of being an adult. Okay. I don't think this tool is gonna work. Okay, it's coming off. The thing is, no matter what I get off, no matter what I do, I don't think it's gonna matter because I can't get this. It has a cord just running all the way through it. And I don't think any part of this is gonna come off without, oh, wait, what? Well, that's cool. Did that buy me anything? If you would've told me a year ago that I would be making a video about disassembling a lamp, I would not have believed you. I think that bought me something, but I don't know what. There's a screw there too. What are, what are these things for? What are these things for? I'm sure they serve some kind of purpose. Okay, I'm gonna try one more thing. Maybe I can like super glue it like, we should see. It's the only thing I can think of to do. Motion. It's happening. I'm confident. I think it'll do. Okay, let's put the light bulb in. All right. Oh, wait. I should have put. Oh, yeah. I should have. Shade on. Oh, I think this might work. <gasps> I think it's going to work. Oh. Oh, <gasps> look, look at it, it worked. I'm so excited, let's see if it works. I'm not gonna lie, I'm stunned that that worked. I was ready to go back to Target and get a different lamp. Drum roll, please. <gasps> it works, yes, it works. I can't believe it works. Hold on, I forgot the little, hold on. I forgot the little turny doodob. It works, look at it! I am so excited, I did this! I, d I did this, I made this work! Yes! Now I just have to remember what the heck I did so I can do it a second time. This also, by the way, is um, the story of my life, having twins, we did everything twice. So we would build a crib twice. We would build a high chair twice. We would do anything, not complaining, because honestly, it's one of those things where it's a really high, steep learning curve to learn how to build a crib, and then you do it once and you don't really need that knowledge again. It's so great to need it again, like immediately, and you do it again and you do it so much faster the next time and you feel so proud of yourself. You know, learning curves are hard. They, they take a long time and it's nice when it's a steep learning curve, but it's something, it's a skill that you can use again. And so having twins is great in that way. So this should go much faster. It works! In like two minutes. Two minutes! So excited. Let's put them on the table. Oh my gosh. I cannot even tell you how excited this makes me. It looks so good, yes! I'm seriously so happy right now, there are not even work. You can see now how a piece of art can go right here. It can take center stage because the glass kind of blends into the background, the black shade definitely blends into the background. If I could do the electrical, I would even think about putting like two sconces right here. It'd be really pretty, but I probably won't do that in this house. Now I'm gonna measure behind my head for the size of art I need and I will get that on the wall. I also have my eye on some chairs. Chairs, chairs are expensive. Oh my. I'm trying to find them on Craigslist because I would like to not pay thousands of dollars for chairs, but I need eight. This is a really big table and it's really hard to find eight chairs. So I may have to find six and kind of make them mismatched with two others or just bite the bullet and buy eight kind of cheap chairs. Chairs are kind of important to this space because we would like to be able to like sit in it and use it. So for now, I'm just gonna be excited about the lamps. 